Hello, it's Michael Hudson, MD of Southern Cross Gold here, reporting on our most recent news release. I'm uh, very happy to be recording this, this summary from Golden in Denver, Colorado, where I'm attended or just attended the Precious Metal Summit, which is uh, one of the preeminent events for companies and those who, who fund those companies worldwide. Wide. And, um, and also the Colorado School of Mines, where I was very excited to have presented our project Sunday Creek to a, a, a global audience. And, and no doubt uh, the project has been recognized globally for what it is, a, a great discovery that continues to build. And, and, and that's a great segue onto these results. Uh, the headline is gold antimony mineralization intersected within a 429 meter interval from surface and new shoots discovered at depth. So what does that mean and why is it important, I suppose? Well, well, critically, this hole was drilled down the plane of the host breccia dike structure. So no doubt it was going to be a longer intersection because we were in the plane of mineralization. Uh, but importantly, it was at ang higher angles to the higher grade structures that sit within that host sequence. So we're drilling across the high grade mineralization, but within the host position itself. It shows uh, that mineralization does extend obviously from surface right down to the very uh, base of the drill hole. So that's very exciting. We found consistent gold right through the hole, obviously some higher grade parts and, and widths are from 10 to 20 meters at three grams, more or less on average. And I'll, I'll encourage you all to go and look at the, the results uh, in the press release, but importantly, also again, good high grade results, sort of half meter at 20 grams uh, gold equivalent um, right through the hole as well. So multiple high grade structures and broad lower grade mineralization. And also excitingly, we discovered new mineralization at depth. This was 50 meters away from uh, the deepest hole around that Apollo area that we had drilled uh, hole 25. So we drilled 50 metres away from that and found further mineralization. Now, this looks like a new shoot down at depth or an extension perhaps of 25. We really need to do more drilling to determine how that all fits together. But the more we drill, the more we find in this, in this project. So that's, uh, that was also another key discovery as we're testing the deeper parts of this mineralization. Uh, the, this result adds of course, to what we know and starts to pull together the coherency of the mineralized body at Apollo, where we have six individual mineralized shoots and, and uh, no doubt we drill across a couple of those in, in, in this hole when we start to put it all in detail. So drill rigs continue where uh, we've got two rigs uh, with three different drill crews operating on those two drill rigs uh, turning uh, seven days a week. And uh, that means we've got seven drill holes, uh, either in progress, uh, being logged and sampled by, by our field teams or in the lab. So there's a lot more news flow to come. We are seeking further rigs. This is a great discovery and, and, and the only limitation of discovery is, is further drilling here. So, so we're gonna be putting more rigs on the ground when we can. And uh, we're, we're just very excited about uh, this result and, and what's coming ahead of us. So stay tuned. Thank you very much for watching. As I mentioned, I'm here in, in the US after just attending the Beaver Creek Precious Metal Show and the Colorado School of Mines uh, mini conference. Uh, the, these conferences are uh, some of the best conferences in the world to attract the best companies uh, with uh, some of the largest funds and investors in the space. Uh, the feedback around Southern Cross has been uh, huma amazingly uh, positive. Um, it's certainly very well known globally. Uh, it's put Victoria back on the map uh, and, and everybody is excited about the opportunity and potential to find the next Fosterfield or, or Costafield. And um, yes, we'll, we'll get more and more investment from overseas as we continue to, to go along this path.